Yo, what's going on guys? Bless here, and today I'm gonna make a quick, simple little video. Um, a lot of people talk about the difference between 60 hertz and above monitors and the requirements for such monitors and stuff like that. And they, most, I, I saw a lot of videos just talking about it and I couldn't really see the point. A lot of videos really didn't make a really good point about it. Um, it actually took one of my friends bringing his monitor around so I could play on Counter-Strike uh, with my monitor and then his monitor to see the difference and the, the difference is unbelievable like I, I always thought that people were just mucking about you know it give you a better um, a little bit smoother gameplay and stuff like that but it goes from once you go to 144 hertz and then look at a 60 hertz monitor you can see the difference just from moving a window um, the jitter difference on the 60 is just insane uh, I never really saw it before um, so instead of just talking about it I'm actually going to show you side by side the differences now the one on the left is 30 fps and the one on the right is 60 fps and the reason i've done this is it's probably one of the best ways to show you the difference it's not this exaggerated obviously because you'll be at 60 fps um originally if you've got the well if you've got a decent computer you'll be at 60 fps originally or 60 hertz and then obviously you're going to be seeing 144 um when you're on the 144 monitor but this is a, you know decent example um, as you can see, this stuttering a bit of jitter on the 30, and if you look at the 60, it's a lot smoother. Um, and this is pretty much the difference you see in game. Obviously, when you do spray patterns and stuff like that as well, it's a lot easier to control your spray pattern with a smoother transition. Um, it's also easier to switch targets, and just the whole game feels a lot smoother in general. It's also easier to hit bunny hops. Um, I find, and it is a massive improvement. And obviously, if you get a decent. 144 hertz monitor like i have i got a, an asus one i'll put it in the description it's an asus 3d monitor um obviously you only use 3d if you buy the if you buy the kit um but the color the color settings on it are pretty good um it's a smooth monitor 24 inch it's pretty pretty sick to be honest it cost me it's only about 300 pounds it's a lot cheaper to, it's like 230 to buy brand new but i bought it on a uh, finance so you know that's pretty much all I can really say about it. It's just a massive improvement. Definitely has increased, uh, has helped my gameplay. And you can expect a lot more videos coming from me soon, especially with the new monitor and stuff like that. And I'm just really pumped to make Counter-Strike videos now because I really wanted to make CSGO videos before, but it was just depressing to even play the game with the jitter because I'd have a lot of screen tearing at the same time. That's something else that has been annihilated by playing 144 is I no longer have an issue with screen tearing. So... There's that cleared up. If you have screen tearing at 60 hertz, this may fix it for you. Um, it's n there's a lot of problems at 60 hertz, and it's definitely worth transitioning. Also, this monitor does have a one millisecond response time. I thought my other monitor did. In fact, it actually had a five. So I also saw a lot of difference there. So guys, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to all the future videos. I'm going to be doing more skits on pro players, and I'm going to try and take them a bit more seriously in the sense of I'm going to put a lot more effort into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. It's been Bliss. Peace.